but I wanted to share a couple of updates with you. And specifically, I really wanted to share the app called Sessions. I've had enough. <laughs> I've had a number of people that have contacted me after there was a lot of buzz and conversation around Zoom earlier this month. And I had recommended an app called Sessions, which happens to be on sale as an AppSumo lifetime deal at the current time of this recording. Now, what I wanted to do is kind of walk you through some of the pros and cons and the things that I'm seeing that I like, show you how I've kind of set this up to where I really, really... um have found it to be an alternative to Zoom. I literally have canceled my subscription at this time. Now, it doesn't mean I won't go back in the future because who knows? <laughs> Zoom is very reliable. I do get the whole conversation in regards to privacy. And for me personally, I made a decision to not use it for my own clients because I don't want to require anyone else to take on to take on a contract <laughs> on my behalf simply so that they can meet with me. So if there are people that are in my space that have challenges or concerns with the privacy of Zoom and they don't want to use it, especially for those who may be in a medical or health field, then it's up to me. I've made the choice to find an alternative. Now, it doesn't mean I won't participate in other people's calls, but that's me making a personal decision about how I use my data how I want my likeness and my content viewed and reproduced in other ways. So to get that part out of the way, that's the reason why I wanted to make sure to share Sessions app. That's number one reason. The second reason is that the app itself is on sale right now, starting at $49 lifetime. So even if you're not switching completely over to this app, it may be something that you want to look into as a potential backup for the future what if you're trying to do like a lot of us are doing inside of my Stream Bosses Academy and you're looking at ways to reduce the number of subscriptions you have? Well, having a lifetime deal on something that would be as powerful as this tool could be a real game changer. So I'm going to show you a little short demo and I'm also going to switch over and show you right now the actual if you want to get the deal. You are more than welcome to use my link or you can go directly to AppSumo.com. But I'm going to go ahead and pop up my link here at the bottom so that you have it available to you. So there it is. So this is the app that we're going to be looking at in just a second. Um, what I'll do first is walk you through the actual sales page for the lifetime deal. And then secondly, I'll walk you through the actual platform itself and show you what I've set up and tell you what I decided in terms of the tier, because there's three different tiers. Know that right now, this thing is only up for four more days at the time of me recording this. So I'm gonna pull up the screen right now and share. So this is actually the AppSumo deal. So what it is basically is a, gosh, it's a, it's a meeting platform. It's an AI powered meeting platform is what they're considering this to be. Okay. So when we talk about it being an AI powered meeting platform, let me move these leaves out of the way because they're kind of getting on my nerves. <laughs> okay. An AI powered meeting platform. And when they say AI powered, they like really mean it. So I'll show you what, what is meant by that. It makes it easy to create, manage, and present interactive video experiences that delight attendees. So one of my most important things that I love to do because I operate in the video space is to review video-related apps. So I'm constantly on AppSumo and a few other deal platforms that I happen to be connected to looking to see what might be available that would be a good one for you, right? On this page, if you go to this page and you see the Sessions app, you're going to find that it starts out at $49 and that $49 is lifetime. So it's one and done. It's tier one. There are other tiers that you can purchase. But I will tell you the one that I decided on was tier three. And the reason for tier three is I wanted to be able to have options in the future to connect this app to other apps. And I'll give you an example of what I mean in just a second. But let's just roll down here really quickly and you can kind of see what their um, their short version of this is. Automate tedious tasks like creating agenda drafts and transcripts using the AI powered 
co-pilot. Now, some of you may recall this. Some of you may recall that at some point we actually reviewed Zoom IQ. At some point in the past several months, I came on and I talked about Zoom IQ and I was really hyped up. You got tier three too. Yes. <laughs> I was super hyped. And let me tell you why I was super hyped. I was hyped because I love that while I'm talking and while we're doing our meeting and delivering good content, Zoom IQ was literally transcribing and creating a summary of the bullet points from the call. Zoom was just doing it in progress. And so that is an important feature that now that I'm used to it, I didn't want to let that go. So when Sessions talks about the AI powered feature that it has, that was one of the main reasons why I thought, you know what, I need to check this out. The other reason why is because it came right in time for all of those conversations that were taking place around Zoom. Going back to what I said when I started this recording or this, this video, so do what you need to to get familiar with the terms of use and what you're agreeing to with any platform you're signing up for. You need to read it for yourself because in the end, you're the one committing to agree to the terms. So when I looked at this as an option, it was right around the time all those discussions were coming in play and I had picked it up, but I wasn't quite sure that I was ready to use it yet. So I'll show you a couple of things. One thing in particular that I mentioned to you already is that the deal ends in four days. So if you're watching this on Sunday, August 27th, you need to know it will be gone in four days. <laughs> okay. So I'm now it doesn't mean you can't go buy it. It just means you lose the lifetime deal. So don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> okay. So here's a couple of really quick things um, I'll point out. One of the things that I liked about their, um, when they promoted this is they talked about the fact that if, you're, if their plan changes, your deal will be mapped to a new plan name with all accompanying updates. That's kind of critical when it comes to these lifetime deals. And I'm going to talk a lot more in depth about that with our app therapy club. Okay. So there's unlimited sessions and sessions are different from events, which I'll that was a common question I've been asked in the last week. So if any of you have questions as you're watching this, make sure you let me know. You get 15 team member accounts for the $49. You get three hours per session. And a session would be like a meeting. So if you're going to have a meeting or an event similar to Zoom meetings, that's what a session is. Okay. And so your limitation is three hours for one session. You can also have a maximum of 45 participants in that session. The team members are people who are also a part of your team that can create events and sessions as well. So this was okay. And 90 days memory, by the way, let me say that too. Memory would be like your replay storage. So they're storing your actual replays. So that's part of license tier one. License tier two ups the ante. Now, here's why you might want to consider license tier two if you're thinking about sessions is because they also have what are called events. So notice that it says three events per month. What an event is would be like a webinar. And this is where this thing gets really crazy for the price that you're paying. So for $99, you pretty much have access to space that offers you meeting opportunities. It's a meeting platform for you to meet with people. It has AI powered um, content in it. So the AI co-pilot comes with level two and it's going to give you the option of being able to showcase a workshop or a webinar platform. OK, which I'm actually going to be delivering this month and I'll share more about that in a second. But you get look at all the limits that you have here, which are expanded beyond the license tier one license tier three. And this is the one I picked up has 50 team member accounts, which I don't care anything about, but 150 participants per session, which is important if you're thinking about doing events because again the events are like a webinar or a workshop and i'm going to show you the one that i've set up in sessions in just a second but the main thing that i wanted it for was the web hooks because i personally like to beyond the fact that i'm using a specific app I like to connect my apps to other apps that I have. So I'll give you a use case and say that one of the things that I wanted to do is to be able to drive. So I use a CRM inside of a space called Funnel Streams. Okay. 
So in funnel streams, it tracks the activity of anybody that I'm connected to. However you're trying to connect with me, if you're downloading a lead um, lead magnet that I have, if you're attending a webinar, if you book an appointment with me, this CRM, Client Relationship Manager, a Customer Relationship Manager, allows me to track actions and activities. So what I wanted to be able to do is to make sure that if someone booked a session or attends one of my webinars that I deliver inside of the app, I wanted to be able to immediately send that information to communicate over with my CRM. So that's just one example of how you might use integration and a webhook would be the way to do that. This is the reason why I decided to actually get level three. I didn't need anything beyond that. And you may or may not need beyond that either, but it's something for you to think about and consider, okay? For sake of time, I'm gonna go directly into my back end of sessions. Now, this is what it looks like inside. And let me see if I need to move. These banners are super huge, aren't they? I'll move that down to the bottom. Okay, so sessions, when you go in, you're going to instantly see how clean it is. The dashboard is super clean, so it's easy for you to figure out or choose what you want to do. And remember, I mentioned that there's a difference between a session and an event. So an event, which you're limited to a certain number of events per month based on the plan you choose, is more like a webinar or workshop. So the webinar that many of you have signed up for already that I'm doing this week called Go Live, Get Paid, I actually have created that webinar inside of sessions. And so look what the page looks like. You'll see that it is truly an actual webinar registration page. So I, I have gone in and created an event in sessions I've added my information. You can have multiple speakers if you choose to. I'm going to be the speaker for this one. You add your information about the description of the event. You add um, your speaker details. And again, it's just me in this case with an image and a description there. And that's it. Like it took me minutes to create this because I knew what I was going to talk about. I already had that description ready and I plugged in an image. And so now it has August 30th, 7 p.m. Central, one hour and 30 minutes. Registration is active. So that gives people the ability when they come to this page to actually click on this. The register link is what it looks like for them. It says start for me because I'm logged in as the facilitator. But this is a simple webinar registration. And it didn't take me forever to set this thing up. And some of you know, because you've had webinar platforms, I have like three right now that I own, and it's a bear to set some of them up. It can take me hours to just get in there and make sure I'm turning on all the things that I want turned on and turning off the things I don't. This took me minutes to do inside of sessions. And all I had to do was say, create an event. So that is where you'll see when you go into sessions, one of the things that I love about it is the ease of use. It's very easy to navigate. When you go into home, that's that page. Actually, when you go to create, you can actually do the same thing. So you can start a session right now, which is a meeting. Again, this is the equivalent of a Zoom meeting. You can start a session now. You can schedule a session for later. You can create an event or you can create a room. And I didn't tell you about rooms, did I? So let me tell you about rooms and what's so cool about rooms. So I actually, and I'm, I'm going to be very transparent with you, but I want you to do easy, not harder. I have a beloved scheduling platform that I use, but because I was moving off of Zoom, I needed to choose, move that location. The permanent location I was using was my Zoom conference room. Well, now I've created rooms inside of sessions and you can do one for every client you have. So you can give your clients dedicated rooms and dedicated booking links which is something I've done for my um, coaching, my private one-on-one -on -one coaching clients, I've created their own personal room. Um, you can also create a room that's just for a specific purpose. So I'm going to share with you, and I need to be careful. I'll share with you something really fast, but let me see how this pops up because I don't want to show anybody's personal information. How about that? All right. I'm going to show you uh, a couple of different rooms and how I've set this up. And now I'll, I'll walk you through my own room. Okay. My conference room. Okay. So notice where I've gone into my room and I have literally created a background that I felt, you know, hey, this is really 
comfy with the plants and all that stuff. This isn't something that came with the app. They actually allow you to add the background to your room. You can add a background to all of your sessions if you choose to, or you can change it up depending on the room. So this is my room, my main conference room, right? And I'm gonna switch this camera just for purposes of making sure that it shows. Well, let's see, we'll do the C922 right there. And when I join this room, I have lots and lots of different options. And by the way, in addition to you being able to change the background here, when people get ready to sign up, you also have the ability to be able to change the background of your actual camera. So I'm going to show you, let's see if we can do it. Yeah, I know. Um, and notice it just gave me this warning and said that could affect your performance. So look, look at this, see how it's changing the background of my actual video. And I believe that your clients, the people that are joining you can change their background too. So very similar to what Zoom allows you to do. So when I say you're not really missing much, by doing this lifetime deal, I'm not joking, okay? Now, once you get in here, you do have the option of being able to lock your room or to keep it unlocked. I typically will lock the room to make sure that the person that's coming in is going to be the person that, you know, signed up. But there's a couple of other things I want to show you in here as well. So one thing is that you have the ability to be able to actually share an agenda or you can share various links and embed videos, embed websites. There's all kinds of stuff that I won't spend a lot of time on today because this is meant to be a high level overview. But I do want you to know, and let me go ahead and pop my link up down here. I do want you to know, especially if you purchased this already, that you've got a lot of features you may not even know are in here. So you can actually create an agenda or share an agenda. So I'm gonna add an agenda. Let's do one that we already have, okay? And I'm gonna say yes. And I can either show this agenda to my client or I can just have it seen on my side where I am outlining these are the things that I wanna make sure we cover before we leave this call. That's pretty slick. And that's something that you would have to have an add-on for in Zoom. Okay, let me show you a couple of other really quick things, but I love this. And there's a lot more that I could tell you about agenda, but I'm not going to do that again for sake of time. The other thing I will share with you is over here, and this is the cool part. <laughs> so you get to transcribe while you are meeting. So you can literally transcribe your whole meeting while you're talking right here. It will tell you what languages are supported. English is the one that has the most accurate results. But while you're actually talking and you're in the meeting, you can start the transcription and it will give you a transcript while you're in progress of having the conversation. The additional thing is after you're done, you can take this transcript and you can use their AI co-pilot and say, summarize this and give me key takeaways from our meeting. So that's already a part of it. So if you get level two or above, you get the AI co-pilot. Um, you also have, of course, the regular chat. You can actually upload files if you want. You have polls. So you can actually create polls where people are, you know, expressing their opinion. You can have a Q&A area. So let's say you're doing a webinar, a workshop, or you're doing a meeting with a lot of people and you want them to be able to separate their chat, their ongoing conversations, and just direct any specific questions that you're to answer or your panelists are to answer in the Q&A area. These are all things that I've loved about other platforms that I've paid a ton of money for that you literally could pay $49.99 or above to have a lifetime access to. That's crazy. So notes, this is another thing that's a secret weapon. And then I promise I'm going to pause and see if there's any questions. Um, notes, <laughs> I'm loving this part. So you can take notes during your meeting and your clients that are participating can also take their own personal notes. You can't see their notes. They can't see yours. And they can email the notes after the meeting or at the end of the meeting to themselves. And you can actually send your notes, which I have mine connected to Evernote, my notes go directly to Evernote or Notion if that's something that you choose. That's crazy. So you can take notes during your call with your clients. As a coach, this is in this is highly valuable. This saves us so much time. I can't even tell you. Okay. The last thing that I'll mention, because I, I know I'm getting like overly excited. 
But this is really such a good app, y'all. I was so just impressed with the deal and they keep adding new things. So I wanted to make sure to share this with you so that none of you come back to me later and say, oh my God, you didn't tell me about it, <laughs> right? Okay, there's other options inside of the settings that you can turn on and turn off. You can turn off people's cameras. You can turn off people's microphones if you don't want everybody talking. And a lot of the back end of the events looks very similar to this so that you don't have this huge learning curve of trying to figure things out. I'll tell you for a fact how I experience it this week when we do our actual live webinar. But the one last thing I think I'll show you in here, because there's a lot, y'all, as you can see. The last thing that I will show you, let me end this. And you can leave your rooms open 24-7, right? Just so you know, okay? Like you can make that permanent room be available so that anytime day or night that you have a call with someone, you can send them to that link instead of trying to create one or think of where you want to send them. Go to memory is what I wanted to show you. So if you are recording, which I didn't just record that, but if you were to record, what you could also do is to be able to um, go to those memories and you'll be able to pull up the memory. Let me pull up one. I'll just show you this one. So I'm going to show you one where I didn't have any participants in it. But in this one, this is an example of what a memory looks like. So when you are done with your session, when you're done with your meeting, then you have, if, if you record it, and even if you haven't, in this case, I didn't record it. But if I had, a recording link would have been available that I could then share with anyone I'd like to share with. So I could copy this link, make this available to either only attendees or if I decided anyone with the link should have this access, I could do that. I could share it with them. So to give you an example, we did our training day for Stream Bosses Academy recently in sessions and immediately after, I was able to share the link inside the group and say, hey, if anybody missed it and wanted to go back and watch the training right now before I do editing, here's the link. And you can go get access to any files we had. You can see the agenda and you can see the slides and all the materials that we included for that call. Like it's inside of the memory. Now, there is a limitation to memory depending on the tier that you purchase. So remember, you have unlimited memory if you're doing tier two or tier three. You only have 90 days if you do tier one. So that's something to keep in mind. OK, um, let's see. The other thing I wanted to mention in here, you also have analytics. So it'll give you information about how many participants. So this is really excellent. Again, from a participation standpoint, if you're doing webinars or workshops. You can download the participants list and see who all came. There's so many things, y'all. And from a calendaring or booking standpoint, if you do truly want to use this as a booking tool, you can create a space, a booking page that is designed only for specific purposes. So this one is my coffee chat room. And so then when I share this link with people who are wanting to set up a coffee chat with me, all they've got to do is come in here and see the calendar so that they can see my available dates and times for a coffee chat. And when they click on the information, I'm just going to pretend I'm setting it up, then I have added certain fields that they can fill out if they want to um, schedule that session or when they're ready to schedule the session, they'll just click here and they'll get reminders just like you do with any other type of scheduling tool. The one thing that I would like to see, because you know I always have to give you a balanced view, there's a couple of things that I'll mention that were are things that I see, I'd like to see them improve. One is I would like the benefit of being able to really have full control over the email content that goes out as a reminder, as a confirmation, and even as a thank you. I want that control because I am that person. <laughs> so in the scheduling tool I use today, I'm able to use my language. It sounds like me, right? Anything that people are getting from me, I want it to sound like me and to fit my brand. And that is something for now that Sessions doesn't have available because you're basically going with their uh, their automated emails. Okay. So that is something I would like to see improved. I've also had a few issues, even though they say that it's 1080p, so it's HD level resolution, your video is clear. Um, I have had some issues with a few recordings, not even the recordings, with a few while we're on the meeting or the call 
where there's been a little bit of glitchiness, but I don't know yet because I got to do more tests to see if it's my internet that was having issues, which should not be the case, or if it's truly the app or the platform itself. So I need to experiment with that a little bit more. But frankly, I can tell y'all everything about this particular app so far has been a win. And if you've got questions, now's a good time to ask. So I'm going to look real quick here and see. Yeah, that's the other thing. I didn't like that their brand was on the emails because my people don't know them. They don't know who is Sessions, right? So there are some things that have been shared with them from a feature and brand request um, that I know they're looking into. Another thing that I like that you won't see in the app itself or on the um, AppSumo page Another thing that I do like is that they do give a lot of, they take in a lot of feedback and they do give a lot of updates about the features that are coming up. So inside of their Slack group, they have a Slack group and that Slack group is pretty excellent for discussions with other people who are using the app, seeing how other people are loving or not loving certain features, um, gives you ideas for you to be able to use it most effectively too. So I hope this has been helpful. I just thought about it today because I was looking at um, I was looking at some of my stuff and realized, oh, Sessions is about to end. <laughs> and it, it's about to end in four days, 20 hours, 56 minutes and 19 seconds. <laughs> so you if, if it's something that may be of interest for you and you've been looking for a way to find a booking calendar. And here's what I share with my group, my community. Right. When I first looked at this and I was trying to share with them, what's the difference? The difference, I think, um, in this app is that you get a combination of features. So you get not only the calendaring, so the ability to be able to schedule people to do calls with you, you get the calendaring and booking feature, you get the ability to be able to create unique rooms that you can dedicate to your clients um, or dedicate to certain purpose. You get the ability to really create a well-branded space, which you, some of you who know me, you know it's all about visual. Like I want to create that visual experience that makes you feel at home and comfortable. And so I like that I can change the background, backgrounds with stock you know, photos and, and do things with it that make it fun, make it appropriate for whatever the conversation may be. You also get the ability, if you do a tier um, two or above, to have events, which is workshops, webinars. And so you're not having to use other platforms to do all of that. Features I didn't show you or talk a lot about, they also have whiteboards. They have um integration with other apps such as Airtable. So I've got it integrated with my Airtable so I can pull up my Airtable um, dashboards and things in there. There's just a lot. And like I said, too much for me to talk about in this short video, but I wanted to make sure that you knew that this was here because it's not every day that they have really excellent tools like this on a lifetime sale. Mm -hmm.